Guys, show all the love you can for Carl Chandler! Thank you. <laughs> I'll tell you a bit about myself. My name is Carl. Last year I went to this massive 80s theme party called Adelaide. <laughs> I believe it's still going. <laughs> Joke number one. I won't number them all. Joke number two. This is what I'm going to do. I want to go into an office works, get them to print out one file. It's just an A4 sheet of paper that says, will you have sex with me? And when the girl behind the counter hands it to me, I sue the joint for sexual harassment. <laughs> So I'm willing to settle out of court for three million dollars or two printer cartridges. <laughs> I like to go to the library, get out all the books on Feng Shui, put them back in the wrong section. <laughs> I think I know the laziest guy in the world. I was at this guy's house and I noticed up on his shelf he had one of those baby naming books. And that's when I remembered that his son's name was Aaron. It's like he got one page in and gone, fuck it, that'll do. <laughs> that kid was lucky. He was one page off being called Baby Naming Book. <laughs> I want to start up my own anger management course. Then at the end, charge everyone three times what we'd agreed. <laughs> Then we'll see who's cured. <laughs> I was in a cafe. I looked on the menu. There was this one item on the menu that I looked at. It looked unusual. There's an item on the menu called a duck sandwich. And that kind of made me feel sad in a way. Because I thought, finally, that duck is literally surrounded by bread. <laughs> Now he's in no position to enjoy it. <laughs> I was in a supermarket. I grabbed an apple. Cost me a dollar. On the way home, I grabbed an apple off a tree. Cost me nothing. So what I learnt from all that is those little stickers are fucking expensive. <laughs> People got that saying, they'll say, bad sex is just like bad pizza. And I agree, because you can get both from a Domino's delivery boy. I like to take a sleeping pill with my coffee just to see who wins. <laughs> Let them fight it out. Thought I was reading a pop-up book about moths. Turns out it was just an old book. <laughs> my highlighter leaked and now everything in my bag seems important. <laughs> this is what I'm going to do, right? I want to get a dog. When I get a dog, I'm going to name it after myself. I'm going to call it Carl. Not because I think Carl is a particularly great name. I just want to mess with my next door neighbour. Because when I call my dog, he won't be able to see what's going on over our fence. He'll only be able to hear what I'm saying. And it'll sound like I've gone insane. Because <laughs> all he'll hear is me saying, Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Carl. Time for dinner, Carl. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> so I like to mess with my next door neighbour. What I like to do is go around the neighbourhood sticking up missing cat posters with a picture of his cat. <laughs> that's not missing. <laughs> Just so his days are filled with strangers picking up his cat Knocking on his door <laughs> and going, where's my fucking reward? <laughs> I wonder if brothels have tight ass Tuesday.
And if they do, I wonder if it's cheaper or more expensive. <laughs> No, no. What I was doing then, I always listen because it always sounds like more girls laugh at that joke than guys. Because <laughs> girls are like, that's clever, that makes sense, that's funny. Meanwhile, guys are like, fucking note to self. <laughs> All right, you, got, you guys have been great. Thanks, I've been Carl. Next up, Steen Raskopoulos and Will Anderson.